What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on all of the different types, categories, and kinds of task one speaking questions, okay? Now, this video is gonna be really significant because more often than not, the vast majority of TOEFL test takers consider the task one speaking question to be the most difficult speaking question. Now, that's because if the question surprises you, if the question catches you off guard, your English fluency is not going to matter anymore because it doesn't matter if you were born and raised in America, if you have nothing to say for that particular task one question that was given to you, you understand? So that's exactly why the task one speaking question is difficult for any person, regardless of their English fluency. Okay. Now the first uh, category of task one speaking questions would be talk about a personal experience that you had. Now, obviously this experience is either going to be positive or negative. Okay. Now for most of the general questions of this type, you should be able to say my most recent birthday party as your opinion. Okay. So for a positive experience, your beginning sentence would be out of all the experiences that I've had, I can say with the utmost confidence that my most recent birthday party was the most positive one. Now, if it, if it was negative, you would only have to change the word positive to negative. Okay. So the beginning sentence is almost identical. All right. Now for the first reason, you're going to say memorable or forgettable. Okay. Memorable would be for positive and forgettable would be for uh, negative. Now for the second reason, you're going to either say enjoyable or boring. Okay. So enjoyable for positive and boring for negative. Now it's going to be up to you to come up with um, the necessary details to fill in the, the blanks. Okay. So you're going to have to come up with, uh, four details altogether, two for positive and two for negative. Okay. It's not that hard. All right. Now the second type of task one speaking questions is, uh, what advice would you give to your friend? Now, this is going to be the sample question that we're going to be working with today to, uh, um, help you guys. Hopefully if you guys are having a hard time with this type of question to help you guys tackle it better. Okay. So this is the sample question. What advice would you give to your friend who is nervous about his or her presentation tomorrow? Okay. Now for that question, our beginning sentence is out of all the pieces of advice that I could give to my friend, I can say with the utmost confidence that I would tell him to be confident if he is nervous about his project. So that's my beginning sentence. Okay. You're going to have to, um, use the sentence, use the question to your advantage. Okay. Please use the question to your advantage when you're summarizing the beginning sentence for any task one question. All right. Okay. Now for the first reason, we're going to say, uh, being confident is important. And for the second reason, we're going to say being confident is also essential. Okay. So for any general, what advice, what recommendation, what suggestion would you give to your friend? Your opinion is going to be, I would tell my friend to be confident if he or she blah, blah, blah. And your first and second reasons are going to be important, essential. Okay. All right. Now the third type of task one questions is pick from three choices. We went over questions like this very recently on my channel. So feel free to go back to my uh, playlist tab or my videos tab and check out one of those videos. Okay. Now, if the question gives you three choices, this is going to be your beginning sentence every single time out of all the choices given in the question, I can say with the utmost confidence that, okay. Now, after that, once again, you're going to be looking at the question and you're going to be using that to your advantage because the question most of the time, or actually every single time helps you organize your opinion. Okay. All right. Um, for the two reasons for this type of question, you can choose to support your opinion twice. So in both of the reasons, support your opinion, or you can choose to say one reason that supports your opinion and say the second reason, um, and, and make a second reason that criticizes the other choices. So those are your two choices that you have when you're, uh, organizing and formulating your two reasons and details. Okay. It's going to be up to you to choose, uh, the option that's the most suitable and the most, um, and the most convenient for you. All right. Okay. Now the fourth type of task on questions is express an opinion. This is the most common type. So, um, recently, or actually this, this might be the uh, second task one question that I did on this channel or the third talk about a book that you recently read, which was important to you. That's, that's a, that's a perfect example of this type of question. 
Uh, for that question, our beginning sentence was, out of all the books that I've read, I can say with the utmost confidence that the biography of Steve Jobs was the most important to me. That was the beginning sentence. Okay, last but not least, number five. Uh, the last fifth type of task one speaking question is this. Talk about the advantage and disadvantage of doing something, okay? Now, here's the sample question that we'll be using to help you understand this better. Okay, so if the question happened to be, talk about the advantages and disadvantages of living overseas. Your beginning sentence for this question is, sorry, my dogs are kind of lonely right now, so they're growling, they're kind of, they're coughing, and they're whining. I'm sorry, <laughs> please bear with me. Okay, so for that question, your beginning sentence is gonna be, um, in my point of view, the advantages and disadvantages of living overseas are clear as day. So after the advantages and disadvantages of, all you're doing is looking at the question and copying whatever is after of in the question, okay? So talk about the advantages and disadvantages of living overseas, our beginning sentence, advantage and disadvantages of living overseas are clear as day. Very easy. Now for the first reason for this type of question, you're gonna be explaining the advantage and in the second reason, you're gonna be talking about the disadvantage. So when you're going over to the second reason, you should say, on the other hand, instead of on top of this. Don't forget about that. Okay, so those are the five different types, categories, and kinds of task one speaking questions. Now that you're aware of all of these types, please review them, uh, understand them, so that it, it becomes more natural for you to recall them when you're at the real test. Uh, now that I have exposed you to the five different types of task one speaking questions, hopefully um, the element of surprise and the uh, fear uh, created from and and the fear created from mystery, hopefully all of those kind of disappeared and have uh, became a little bit weaker, less intense than they were originally for you. Okay guys, if you have any questions about uh, what I covered in today's video, feel free to use the comment section to ask me those questions. And also if you're curious about my services, feel free to contact me via email or Facebook message. Okay, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video which will be focusing on task three and task four. See you guys in the next one.